emissions and the first ionization energy. So when we talked about the first ionization energy and the different factors affecting ionization energy, we talked about three factors. First, the nuclear charge, distance from the nucleus, and shielding. And we said that ionization energy increases across the period and it decreases across the group. So let's have a closer look at the ionization energy and how does this affect specific groups and periods. So looking at the ionization energy across group two elements, you can see that the first ionization energy decreases down group two. This is because of shielding. So as you have, uh, when you look at the electronic configuration of different elements in group two, as you go down the group, each element down the group will have an extra um, electron um, shell. So the outer shell electrons will be in, uh, in the, an extra electron shell, which means there will be uh, shielded, um, uh, the outer electrons will be shielded from the attraction of the nucleus. So as you go from beryllium to magnesium to calcium, there is an extra inner shell, so there is extra shielding. The second factor is the distance from the nucleus. Of course, because there is an extra shell, that means the outer shell electrons are further away from the positively charged nucleus. So the nucleus, at nucleus attraction is less as you go down the group, so the outer shell electrons will be easier to remove, so the ionization energy will decrease. If we look at the ionization energy across a period, so looking at uh, period three, starting from sodium until argon, the general trend is that the first ionization energy increases across the period. The main factor here would be the nuclear charge. As you can see here, the nuclear charge increases because the atomic number increase, so the nuclear charge increases, so there is more positive charge in the nucleus. The outer shell electrons will be attracted more to the nucleus. The outer shell here is the same, the same outer shell for all period three. This is the shell number three. So the effect of distance and shielding here is minimal compared to the nuclear charge. This is why there is an increase in the, um, uh, the ionization, first ionization energy across the period. However, there you can see that there are two drops in the ionization energy for period three. The first one is between group two and group three, and the second one here is between group five and group six. So let's have a closer look why there is a drop between group two and group three. This drop shows the subshell uh, structure because in aluminium, which is here the group three element, the outer shell electron is in 3p orbital. And that the 3p orbital is uh, further away or slightly of higher energy than the 3s orbital. And so they are a bit further away from the nucleus and it will be also shielded from the extra um, 3s um, orbital or the electrons within the 3s. So there is the effect of the distance and there is also the effect of the extra shielding from the 3s electrons and these two factors override the effect of the increasing nuclear charge. So there is a slight decrease here between group 2 and group rather than the general trend of the increase in the ionization energy. And then you can notice there is also a drop between the uh, phosphorus and sulfur, which are group 5 and group 6. And this is due to electronic uh, or electron repulsion. So for phosphorus and sulfur, the shielding here is the same because the electrons are being removed from the same subshell. Both of these are the 3p orbitals and they have the same um, they are in the same uh, subshell and they are in the have the same shielding with the 3s uh, uh, suborbital as well. However, if you look at phosphorus, this is the group 5 element, you can see that when we look at the electronic uh, configuration, the three electrons are here, the three orbitals of the p, um, of the p subshell each have um, 
each has only one electron. So the electron is being removed from a singly occupied orbital. However, in case of sulfur, which is group 6, you can see that there is one orbital that has a paired electrons or two electrons, and the other orbitals only have one electron. That means that the electron that is being removed is already paired, or is already the orbital where the electron is removed, and an orbital that has two electrons. So there is a repulsion between these two uh, electrons, or between the paired electrons, and this repulsion will make the electron easier to remove. This is why there is a slight drop in the ionization energy between group 5 and group 6.